Okay, so, so far I've done two tier list videos, one being uh, elite skins and the other's operator tier list. Um, a lot of people have been commenting on, honestly, both, but most people have been uh, disagreeing with operators. Now, that video was just strictly on uh, utility-wise, difficulty of operator, and to be honest, I should have did it in a different way because a lot of people are rubbing uh, me the wrong way. Every operator is viable in its own way. That's all I want to say. Uh, but we're going to go through some templates. We're going to do some of them. Hopefully, we can find some good ones. But if you like the video, like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see my other two videos uh, where I did tier list for Siege, down in the bio. Also, I'm streaming every day of July. So if you want to pop on by, Twitch link in my bio. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're just gonna try to act like this is, uh, now, the, the, no, they have L back. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna act like this is the proper rank, uh, ranked maps, because I can't find a proper one. So, right away, I'm just gonna put Skyscraper and Hereford, Hereford Base and Trash. The problem with these maps is, of course, Skyscraper is just, like, run out simulator. You know, you get ran out from, like, Get goddamn anywhere you get spawn peaked from like almost anywhere there's too many windows there's too many balconies there's too many places that you have to propel up to actually get to there's not multiple ways to get up to like for example uh third floor so i think that's a huge issue or second floor i should say hereford base even the rework was awful they didn't do this map justice at all uh the issue with this map is almost the same as skyscraper there's too many levels it's too easy to get spawn peaked and it's just it's not fun it's so defensive sided but you know yeah uh border you know what for a ranked match i i i think i want to put in i'm just gonna put in amazing because i'm thinking about the ranked pool right now and it's just there's a lot of maps that's just not fun like l back is straight like garbage like kick that shit to the side spit on it like it, it's it's an awful map uh, Clubhouse is going to go in amazing as well. Now, this is just the map pool. This is based on the map pool, what I'd rather play, to be honest. Clubhouse, even though they did a minor rework, like, long time ago. And it, it is usually just played the same. Usually, like, people are taking Garage, go under with Zofia, blah, blah, blah. It's still a very fun map to play on. Like, you can enjoy your time playing it. Uh, Theme Park, it's actually, it's tolerable at this point. Because you kind of understand and feel out how people play but it's not my favorite, but it's definitely better than Outback. We're putting Fortress and Trash as well. Uh, that map is just not fun. I'm sorry. Too many long hallways. It's annoying as hell to play. Too many random corners as well. Uh, like I said, that's my opinion. Villa is going to go amazing. It's, it's a perfect siege map in my opinion. Even though the sound is very busted on that map. They can fix the sound, which I heard they're doing next season. That would be a very perfect map. Uh, Cafe. Cafe is going to go amazing as well. I like the rework. It's a fun map to play on. I don't have too many issues. Coastline is, it's trash. It's literally just run out simulator. Everybody plays it like the same. But, you know, sometimes I do like playing it. Uh, Oregon. They did a rework on Oregon. It's tolerable. You know, I feel like the more and more we'll play it, the more it'll grow on you, to be honest. Uh, Consulate. It is trash, but I don't mind playing it, you know. It's just so one-dimensional at this point. People run the same strats. It's just been in the game for too long, and it does need a rework. So if you follow the runouts. Bank is one of those maps, too, that's trash, but they need to rework it. But, you know, I can have fun playing in the rap, in the map, in the, holy goddamn. In the map pool, you know, there you kind of just got to take what you can get. Chalet is... Chalet is, to be honest, trash. Like, it needs to be reworked. A lot of maps need to be reworked, but what a lot of us don't understand is as the game progresses and more operators are added into the game, the more they're going to have to tweak it and, you know, rework a lot of maps. The current map pool, in my opinion, they need to take out Outback, and I'll be, like, happy. Theme Park grew on me. Oregon's not that bad. They're missing Canal. I would put Canal in trash but like playing or even tolerable one of those 
It's not as bad as people make it out to be. I'm not, I'll, I would actually put Canal in tolerable. Because it's not that bad as people make it out to be. Compared to Outback. Because Outback is like the bottom. Like of like the worst maps in my opinion. Like it's down there with Tower. And I know a lot of you might say you like Tower. But when you're actually playing this game as a tr tr strategic team based game. It's just not fun. Too big. Too random. And it's just way too annoying to attack. Okay, R6 guns. I... Here's the thing about these guns, tier list. Like, I try to do one, as you can see right here. But they just look so... Like, I don't know. The gun pictures looked weird. Okay, I can I can do this on this. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna start with the pistol. See, like, what is this? What the hell is this? Now, this is Jaeger's AR. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, we can do this. All right. Starting out, let's just edit the template. S, of course, great weapons. A, uh, you know, good. B, decent. Decent. C, awful. And D is going to be underrated. Underrated. Let's start out with Ash's pistol. I'm just going to say decent. No. It's not a bad pistol, but I personally don't enjoy using that pistol. Only eight bullets when the other uh, pistol that you can use is honestly a more vi viable option in my opinion. Has more bullets. You know, you tend to potato if you're not good with pistols, you know, you can pull out. That's why I'm going to actually put that one in A. I feel like it's just more consistent weapon all around. Jaeger's AR. I'm going to put that in S tier. It's one of the best weapons for defenders, let alone. Especially on an operator like Jaeger, it's crazy. I'm guessing this is Twitch's DMR. I don't know why it's cut off like that, but I guess it was just an issue with uploading. Twitch's DMR, I'm putting that thing in underrated. There's a lot of DMRs, like 90% of DMRs are underrated and you do not see people use them. So, especially Twitch's DMR, the 417, it's an amazing weapon. Uh, Nomad's Pistol, this thing is awful. Like, you need to actually practice to use this thing, but it, it is so awful. I remember when it was first released, it was OP as hell, but I, it just, mm. Uh, the Commando, I'm gonna put it underrated because we're in a G8 meta right now and nobody uses this thing barely. So it, it is definitely underrated and it's a great weapon. Thermite's AR is gonna go in A. It's a hard hitting weapon. The only thing it has that's wrong or bad that's, what is words? That's bad about it is the fire rate, but it's a very hard hitting weapon. I think it's LMG, I'm gonna put it... I'm gonna put it A. It's one of the best LMGs in my opinion, and, you know... That's all I gotta say, it's just one of the best LMGs. Uh, Frost's SMG, I'm putting that thing in awful. Of course it has no recoil, but the fire rate is awful. I just don't think it hits hard enough. Capcans... SMG... I'm gonna say it's decent. Nah, it's not good, but it's not really that bad. Alibi Shuckin is next. I'm gonna put this thing in awful. I don't care. Even if it's a slug, you should not be using this thing over the, her uh, SMG. What is this? The AK-12? Yes, yeah, the AK. Is it? Yeah, this AK. The symbols look weird. S tier AK-12 right now in this current predicament is amazing. That thing is OP, especially on an operator like Ace. Uh, Nomad's AK. I'm gonna put it decent. I'm not a huge fan of using the AK, especially since you got Capitalist Pistol, but it's a decent weapon. It bounces like a stripper's booty, though. Maestro's LMG. I'm gonna put it A. I want to put it S, but it's just the ADS speed is so slow on that thing. Like, they do got to find a balance to it, but it is so slow. Maverick's DMR, underrated. Same with, uh, hold up. I thought I saw another DMR. I'm, I'm tripping. It's underrated. I think it's a very hard-hitting DMR. And, you know, it's two-shot. The only thing it doesn't have for it is a high ammo count, which is kind of a big issue if you potato. Same with the AR-33, though. Very underrated weapon. Everybody used the LA. It's more... Of course, the LA is more consistent, and it's, to be honest, better. But the AR-33, they give it to a different operator, like a new operator that comes out. It'll be so amazing, man. Nomad's AR-33... I think it's just going to go in the same boat as uh, the AK. It's decent, but the low ammo count makes it hard to use over the AK-12. 
even though there's no recoil and thing it's hard to take out multiple enemies unless you know you're one tapping everybody the aug mm, i'm gonna i'm just gonna say it's decent i i don't think it's underrated i feel like iq has better weapons but you know i think it suits an operator like well my i had a brain fart there uh cades aug mm. I think it's decent it's very slow but like it's it's a decent weapon the bailiff i'm gonna say this thing is awful for killing people of course rotation holes like on a on a operator like maestro viable because you make rotates but he has like impacts now so i don't know i just don't think for killing it's not consistent and it's not really that helpful especially for a shotgun pistol the bearing nine it's decent a lot of people have a hard time controlling the recoil on the bearing nine but it's all about like tap firing and understanding the recoil spread. But I I, I think it suits an operator like Havana, for example. The boss tree, I don't think I don't, I don't care. This thing's awful. Like there's no viable reason that you should be using this thing unless you're memeing. The C7, I think it's decent. A lot of people hate this thing just because they hit the bearing. Fat ass iron sight. You can't add a scope. But if you understand and adapt and learn how to use it, it's a great weapon. Jackal's AR. Uh, it's definitely going in A tier. It's a, it's an amazing weapon. Like, Jackal just has an amazing kit overall. Even with the PDW. PDW is an amazing weapon. It's consistent. It hits hard. It's fast fire rate. It's all you need in a weapon. The CA, it's A tier. It's a hard hitting weapon. It doesn't make it into the S tier, but it is a great weapon. Especially for Buck. The DMR on Buck is awful. I think he has the worst DMR that they have in the game. So uh mozzie's commando i'm gonna put an a it's a consistent weapon it has a wee bit of recoil but the animation is legendary man it's a good weapon overall though the deagle mm, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna say s tier because it's an amazing secondary especially for velk uh, blackbeard can get deleted out of the game i don't care but the deagle is just one of the best pistols it's very hard hitting it can make easy like holes not rotate holes but holes for line of sight it's a great weapon especially for versatility famas awful they nerfed the hell out of this thing you use recoil on that thing and it bounces like crazy dog uh next is thick locks ar this thing is underrated man this is one of my favorite weapons in the game to be honest it's a very hard-hitting, fast fire rate weapon with no recoil. That's all you gotta ask for, man. FMG9, it's decent for Nook, at least. I don't think it's very viable in smoke, because smoke without a shotgun is just in such a weird place, man. Ella shotgun, this is for Royal Penguin. It's A tier. It's toxic as hell, and it's just... it. You get, like, five feet from that thing, and you're getting sniped, man. That shit is insane. The G360 is definitely going to be underrated. Ayana is a perfect operator and a perfect example of why this thing is amazing. Even though she does have the AR, she also has G360. Use that thing with angle grip and ACOG. Amazing. I definitely don't think this weapon is good enough to use over the R4C, but it is a nice choice to have, to be honest. The G8 S tier, they gave this thing a angle grip and it just change the landscape of how everybody's playing so it is definitely s tier it's no recoil it's an lmg reloads very quick and 51 bullets like what else can you ask for uh fuses secondary pistol i'm gonna put in awful i personally do not like this thing it's ugly it's awful and like i i just don't think as a pistol i like the weapon overall jackal's primary shotgun um and mirror i'm i'm just gonna put it in awful there's no reason why an operator like mirror or jackal should have a primary shotgun especially when they have a secondary shotgun the weapon let alone isn't that bad but there's no viable reason why you should be using it uh mirror secondary definitely air, uh, decent it's a good weapon but you know it's not anything special it suits her and vigil for what they're supposed to but on different operators, especially like say like um, like a Valkyrie, it would just it would just be weird. So it, it's decent. Vigil's AR, it's decent. 
you know, there's nothing special, but there's no recoil on its fast fire rate. It suits Vigil for the weapon. Uh, next is the L8. One of the best weapons in the game, in my opinion. It's very consistent, 31 rounds, no recoil. Hits decent, decent fire rate. Amazing weapon. Uh, the TCSG, it's it's awful in my opinion. They nerfed the hell out of it, and it's like a pea shooter. Like I, I just can't imagine shooting a slug at somebody, and them just not being able to die. Uh, Maestro and Alibi's secondary pistol. Um, for Maestro, like it's kind of weird that he has a pistol like this because the bailiff who rotates, but you know it's it's good, it's decent. You know it's not anything special though. The Magnum's underrated in my opinion. They, they, a lot of people don't use it because, you know, of course they usually have the P9 as the, as the main secondary, but you know, it's a good choice to have, especially if you can hit your shots. Sophia's LMG, this thing, this thing's A tier, man. This is one of the most annoying LMGs to go up against. This is 150 rounds in one mag. Like a liter, literal baby could be shooting and using a controller, a mouse, or whatever, and they would probably still get the kill with this crazy piece of shit. Next is Paul's shotgun. I'm just gonna put in decent. Really nothing special when it comes to shotguns, but you know, it's not bad. It's not good though either, to be honest. Um, Cavs, primary, SMG. I think this thing's awful. Even though it does have no recoil, it's low fire rate, low hit rig. I, I'm good, man. Capital and Gridlocks' LMGs. Um, both decent. They're good weapons. You know, they're very handy. No recoil. But on a... You know, i rather use their other weapons, to be honest, in my opinion. Uh, Ash's pistol, it's going to be decent. Nothing special. You know, it's actually the, just the same. I don't know why two of them, but whatever. Mavericks M4, this weapon is definitely going in A tier. Same with Smoke Shotgun. The issue with Smoke Shotgun is that sometimes it's very inconsistent. Sometimes you'll shoot somebody and it's like you shot a bunch of bean bags at them. Mavericks AR is good. You know, it has a choice of angle grip. I just don't think it has what it takes to be an S tier weapon. Sophia's AR, definitely S tier. This thing is amazing. It's overall consistent. And it's very hard hitting with good fire rate. Bandit shotgun. This is for the boys. If you know uh, back in the day when recruit was in ranked, everybody would recruit rush when it was 3-0. Things amazing. Blackbeard's AR. I I think this thing is awful. The reload reload animation's too slow. The fire rate's awful. It is hard hitting, but most of the time fire rate is what's gonna win a gunfight. Unless the person's low. Dokumi, Dokumi's DMR. Uh, I think it's underrated. You know, Dokumi all around is underrated. Just the point that she can hack cams. And all that utility, which is the defender's like intel, is almost gone right there. So, just thinking about that weapon, it's it's definitely underrated. Frost's pistol. I'm just gonna put it in decent like i don't really use it too much and even on buck i don't even use it that much but it, it's not a bad pistol like the armor side's not bad uh the hit hit reg is decent mp5k that is definitely gonna go mm, it's decent i feel like it is a little bit underrated when it comes to well, my not mute though if you're not using mute shotgun what are you doing it's a it doesn't hit hard, but it definitely has the fire rate. Uh, the MP5. I'm going to put an A tier. I just think Echo's primary is better than that. Because it has a suppressor and it, it does more damage realistically. So Echo's gun is going to go S tier. Might disagree, but that's totally okay. MP7. Ooh, do I want to put this in A? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in S. This thing's fire rate is insane. Barely any recoil. I think it's just such a fun weapon to use. MPX. It, this thing's awful. It's a pea shooter. 
the damage on it's awful the fire rate doesn't make up for anything but you know aim for the head you win your ones alibi's primary it's decent the fire rate is what makes it decent to be honest there's no like recoil to it there's no there's a faster reload animation so glasses sniper it's gonna be decent it's not really anything special you know it hits very hard but it's slow fire rate do you remember yo do you remember before glass was nerfed how quick that thing would shoot now that was s tier glass ellis pistol s tier for for pistol wise it has a scope just, just the point that it has a scope that's one times, it's just, it's just so crazy, man. The P10, A tier, it's definitely up there with the Commando. Uh, I, I, I like the P10. It's one of my favorite weapons. Bandit secondary, uh, pistol wise, you know, this is also going to go S tier. And that's pistol wise, hard hitting, has enough ammo. What else can you ask for realistically? Uh, Thatcher's pistol. I'm gonna put in decent. It does its job. Echoes pistol. To be honest, I don't. I've never used Echoes pistol. To be honest, like why would you use a pistol over the bearing nine? Just doesn't make sense. But I'm just gonna put in decent. There's no really bad pistols in the game besides um. Besides. Besides Nomad scoped in. The Scorpion, it's it's decent. It has the fire rate. It just the recoil is a little crazy after like 15 bullets. The P90 is definitely underrated. Like, not that many people use it, but if used correctly, especially on PC, it's even though it is a little bit of a pea shooter, the fire rate makes up for it. What is this? Mozzie's pistol? Or is that Mozzie's pistol? I am so dumb right now. No, that's Mozzie's pistol. So many pistols. The PMM. It's one of my favorite pistols, but I'm just going to put it in decent. It's very hard hitting. And, like, it just looks so cool. And it's so fun to use. R4C is definitely going to go... Definitely going to go S tier. Can you imagine, like... I don't know. It, it has no recoil. Even when it had ACOG, it had no recoil. The fire rate is good. The damage is good. Like, especially on Ash, it's over. SMG 11 is also going to go in S tier. Big W. If you master that gun, you're going to be a straight gunner. It's it, you're not going to nobody's going to win a gunfight against you to be honest. UMP awful weapon. It's literally the worst gun in the game. It's especially as SMG or fully automatic weapons, it is awful. I'm not saying you can't be good with it, but it's awful. The super shorty. Uh, I'm just going to put it in decent. I, I'm a little upset. Like, it's definitely a great... No, I'm, I'm going to put it in A tier. It's a great secondary to have. Especially, like, on an operator like Castle. And when it was on Mozzie, it makes... Just... It makes the operator more viable. It gives it so much value. Nooks and Ying's shotgun. It's awful. It, it's just... It's just so meat, in my opinion. Not saying you can't be good with it, but it's meat. Dock shotgun, also awful. Same with echo shotgun. I'm not a big fan of pump shotguns. Besides uh, smokes, it's just, it's just not fun in my opinion. Just overall, just a bad weapon. Uh, Capital's AR is decent. Nothing really stands out besides, you know, has no recoil. The PDW. PDW is actually going to go underrated. A lot of people use the AR-33. But the thing about the PDW is just the amount of bullets and fire rate and damage that it does is just a lethal combination. Blackbeard's DMR, it's going to be an awful. I think Blackbeard just needs to be deleted or reworked all around, to be honest. <clears throat> uh, Cavi's shotgun. Honestly, mm, Cavi's shotgun is going to go decent. It's it's a very... If it was on a better operator, to be honest, it might be... I No, not, not even a better offer. It's, it's, it's decent, but I don't think it has what it takes to be, like, over-decent. Habana's AR. It's definitely decent. It's 
you know does its job with the fire rate but the mag capacity is what is really hard to use that thing if you can't if you're fighting multiple enemies mirrors smg it's gonna go decent as well you know there's a lot of times where you're either beaming kids or you're straight pea shooting kids so uh clash of secondary and cali secondary i'm putting this thing in a tier this thing's fire rate with no recoil is amazing bro Kelly Sniper, I, I think this thing's awful. I don't think a sniper should be really in this game. There's no... You know, you get punished for almost using it. Because if you miss your first shot, and you're in that reload animation, it's so easy to just get beamed. That's why I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, Capian Sausage. Haha, <laughs> Capian Sausage. It's decent. You know, a lot, of the, a lot of weapons in this game are just decent. There's nothing that really makes it special. Capcan's pistol, decent. Decent. Legion piece pistol, decent. Like, they're not bad weapons. They're very usable. Same with Mozzie's pistol. Like, that's the issue with most pistols. It's nothing. They're just there for secondaries. You know. Same with Jackal's pistol. Yippee. Lions. AR. Very underrated. It's literally like Mira's gun with a drum mag. With, like, something added to make it, like, hit harder. But it, it's a great weapon overall. Ying's uh, LMG, it's definitely like A tier. No recoil, shoots fast. A little bit of P shooter, but there's no recoil, and it's an LMG. Frost shotgun, awful in my opinion. Just, I, I don't know. Like, it's not very viable unless, like, you're in very close quarters, and that's al almost very situational. Legion's SMG, decent. There's times where you're beaming people, and there's other times where you're just straight potatoing, so... Not potatoing, pea shooting. Because, uh, AR, definitely underrated in my opinion. It's a great weapon, but, you know, a lot of people just prefer to use the LMG. The Spaz, it's decent. You know, nothing else I can say. The SMG-12, it's... I actually th think it's underrated. A lot of people, like, shit on weapons like the Mary 9, the SMG-11, uh, SMG-12... You know, because the recoil uh, on them. You can't just spray them like how you used to be able to in, like, year two, year one. But I don't think it's, it's like, a very bad weapon, to be honest. So, this is my guns tier list. If you don't agree, that's okay. So, that was my gun tier list and map tier list. So, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. If you didn't, you disagree, then whatever. Everybody has their own opinions. But like I said, I'll be streaming all this month. And if you're watching this after July, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 12.30 to like 4 or 5. Depends on how I'm feeling that day. So why not pop in, say what's up, you know, drop a pog champ. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Have a nice day.